non-controlled setting as we've been over the first you know, seven to ten days. Uh, so it's that next progressive step. Same too for infielders, outfielders, as they kind of start to fill each other out, especially with so many new pieces. Yeah, and I don't know that we can get into you know, guys getting familiar with one another in, in probably two at-bats, which each starter will get today. Uh, but it is to begin that familiarity with one another. And as we've gone through every spring training, it's, it's that step leading up to the regular games beginning on Saturday. So uh, I think everyone's probably looking for a little bit of a break from uh, the schedule that we've gone through the last five, six days. The work, the work has been great. Uh, so uh, I think we're just looking forward to getting on the field in the game. Yeah, how much are games like this just more about breaking up the monotony of playing each other? Uh, you know, Trini, there's, there's probably a lot of it. Uh, you know, it's, it almost signals in the player's mind or, or pitcher's mind that, okay, we're, we're getting closer to our game schedule. And then the next thing is going to be is you know, starters get to build up their pitch counts and at bats start to accumulate. Uh, that April 1st timeline is starting to get a little bit closer. John, what about uh, the communication with coaches, too? I mean, everybody talks about the players wanting to get games started, but I assume that the communication patterns between coaches, would you also like to get into that? It, it will, and particularly between Butter and Arnie at first base, because we have a lot of, um, you know, there's some obviously nonverbal communication that's going to go on across the field, and the rhythm that they start to establish here starting today, uh, if you've seen at 5.30 in the morning, there's a lot of dress rehearsal going on inside, but... Mm. This is a chance for those guys to get out uh, and start to get that rhythm. John, what's the excitement out here to, to not only get these exhibition games going, but to be in this stadium and in front of this crowd? Well, I'm sure guys that have come from other organizations, they'll sense, uh, you know, two games against local colleges will draw uh, the feeling that uh, maybe some other A game type or, you know, environments might produce. But um, for the returning guys, this is another next step uh, to the eagerness to get down to camp and, and get things underway. John, what are your early impressions of Glacius? 